Don, would you please pray for us? Lord, thank you now for this opportunity for us to conduct this business here tonight. Let's all act in a Christ like manner. Even through this, we glorify your presence and hands. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Be with each member of this council, be with the mayor. Ask your will to be done. Amen. 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 Thank you. And if everybody would, please rise. <laughs> Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm going to clear with everybody. All right. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Uh, if you would, please turn off your cell phones or mute them, please. And can we have a roll call? Uh, Mayor Self? Here. Uh, Myrtle Van Cleek? Here. Uh, Eugene Kiley? Here. Uh, Brenda Lowe? Is absent. Floyd Philpott? Here. Steve Burr? Here. We have a quorum, Mayor. All right. All right. Uh, I did. I welcome everybody for to our monthly meeting. I'm glad you're here. Uh, you'll be given an opportunity to make comments following the close of business. So, with that, uh, let's go ahead and review the minutes from the previous meeting. <coughs> the Town and County Line regular meeting, June the 10th, 2013. Mayor Arthur Seth called to order the regular meeting of the council at 7 p.m. on June the 10th, 2013 in the Town Hall. The clerk conducted a roll call. The following persons were present. Mayor Arthur Seth, Councilors Myrtle Van Cleek, Eugene Kiley, Brenda Lowe, Floyd Philpott, Steve Brewer. Approval of minutes. The clerk read the minutes from the May 13th regular meeting and the special meeting held on May 16th. A motion was made by Floyd, seconded by Steve, to approve the minutes. The minutes were approved as read. Financial reports. The clerk presented the financial reports and a motion was made by Brenda and seconded by Myrtle to accept the financial reports. The motion carried. Open issues. Town sign grant. Councilor Myrtle reported on specifics concerning the grant for a town sign. She did not think we would be able to comply by the deadline and no funds for the upkeep of the sign. The mayor met with Gary Strickland, our commissioner, concerning road work. He will give proposals and contracts with the town for labor and materials. The mayor also meets with all the mayors of Blount County once a month to discuss ordinances and inspections as a joint venture for each community. Resolutions, ordinance, orders, and other business. The clerk read the ordinance 01-2013 regarding the five mil assessment. The mayor asked for discussion by everyone in attendance. Then a motion was made to accept the ordinance and then a vote was had to approve the ordinance. A roll call on the vote was had and the vote was unanimous and signed by each member. Mr. Pete Yance talked with us about a proposal for his company Revenue Discovery Systems where they discover delinquent business license revenues with no charge until they collect. They also provide a business license administration service. They handle all the billing, the billing, postage, the fee for this service is $8.85 to be collected from the business license fees of $12 per license. This was tabled until next meeting. Adjournment. A motion was made by Steve and seconded by Floyd to adjourn the meeting at 8.15 p.m. Minutes submitted by Brenda Philpott, clerk. Any comments? Corrections? All right, do we have a motion to accept? I'll make a motion to accept. I'll second. All in favor? 
you know, just Wave safety. Wave safety. Yeah, I got it. Eugene and Floyd, right? Okay. Um, financial. Um, in our capital improvements account, we have six thousand eight hundred sixty-six dollars and eighty-eight cents. It's the same as it was last month. Uh, and our the county line two and seven road account. The balance in the account uh, through the end of June is $7,653.69. In the um, four, five, and six road account ending June the 30th is $7,109.03. And the general fund. June as of June the 30th is five thousand three hundred six dollars and nine cents and that all coincides with the bank balance the bank balance did we uh, find out anything on the cell phone on what on the cell phone oh I did call uh, are you ready for that right now? Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, well, I talked to Verizon, and that is the cheapest thing they have that's for, it's $39.99, and then it's tax added to it. Now, they do have a, um, where you can purchase the minutes monthly, or you can purchase the minutes, like, for a, an amount, say, $25 for so many minutes. And then when they start to run out, you just repurchase if you want to go that route that's the only thing that she would suggest that we do but she did not know exactly how much it would be until I got down to specifics but she said just say $25 and then it gives you so many minutes and then uh, if you see that's not enough but I had I had a call from a young man here that called he came up here and got the number and he was moving his mother's trailer and he wanted to contact Alabama Power so I had like two or three calls from him on that number and I had one call uh, maybe from uh, Gary Strickland the rest of the calls that I've had have been for later mm -hmm. so I, I don't really know I can't judge we can try if you want to to do away with the thirty nine ninety nine and purchase minutes by the month. I don't know what to do. Oh, and I know that I volunteered to use my cell phone, but after thinking about it, it was like I don't think I want to do that. I don't know that because if something were to happen and um, if I was no longer the clerk, I would have my phone number out there, and I I, I, I don't want that. This is a number that we need to publicize and use. Right. Okay. Uh, that or the uh, yeah. town hall number. Right. As the only number. Right. Well, there is an answer machine, and you know mm -hmm. it does take the messages and all. So mm -hmm. I check the messages, but um, I'm not always here. But it's the, the cell phone. This one is the one for the town. And it's mm -hmm. just very seldom used. Now, Brenda Lowe called me today on it to tell me she wasn't going to be here. Okay. And Gary Strickland well, called let's, me Well, uh, let's table it for, for the time being. Just leave it like it is? Yeah. Well, that's uh, the cheapest thing. I don't, uh, I don't want you relying on your cell phone. Well, I'll, we thought, I thought about it after we got home, and Floyd and I talked about it, and he said, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. If something yeah. happened, and you don't want that's, your number out there yeah. for everybody. And that's why I wanted it to begin yeah. with. Right. All right, I just saw it on here, here on the uh, financials and spurred yeah. it. Well, um, it is at 39, but with tax, it's 42, you know, tax. 42, 47. Yeah. That's where they get you. <laughs> yeah, and the tax, everything. <laughs> yeah. All right, any questions? Or comments on any of the financial statements? Do we have any more money coming in this year? Or 
Uh, we may have a little bit from the uh, Sheriff's Department, Jefferson County Sheriff's Department, later this year, probably is typically in $1,500 to $2,000 range. It's a portion of the fee that they uh, collect for serving papers, and we get a share of it. Uh, that's the only other deposit that I'm aware of this point in time, unless we uh, find some delinquent uh, business license. Well, we did we're bring up. We're going to talk about that in a, in a few minutes. But, uh, any other questions or comments? Do we have a motion to accept? Eugene made that. Eugene and Myrtle Sutton. Eugene and Myrtle. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Uh, Unanimous. Okay. We have no report from the standing committees. Uh, no report from special committees. Have we, heard, we haven't heard anything on the gateway uh, sign thing yet, have we? I didn't think so. Mm -hmm. I hadn't seen anything. It would be August. The paper before the, the, like said it would be August. Okay. We'll probably need to uh, contact them to resubmit our estimate. Um, based on that uh, one estimate we got from the sign company, that I had thrown together a swag uh, to get something put in. Yeah. But we can contact them to update it. So uh, I've sent you a copy of it. If not, uh, I don't know that everybody knows that um, Myrtle and Lucy, we need to give them a big thank you for going around and making pictures and Lucy for uploading them to the mayor because the mayor filled out the uh, form online for the sign for Alabama Power Grant. And he did all of the, we had to have it all in one thing before it would you could do it you couldn't fill out part of it and then send pictures it all had to be done at one time so i thank lucy and myrtle because they took off and went all over took pictures everywhere every, all the towns and stuff so. yeah and uh, i'll i'll resend those to you i'll go ahead and send a copy to all the council members of the estimate that we did receive from one sign company but he was right at two thousand dollars right. for a pocket or a uh, post and panel sign. So. Well, and we had a volunteer, one of our neighbors said that if we got the sign that she would take care of the flat. Yeah. So we'd have that on, we'd have that on tape. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm I'm really you'll that. have to have it. <laughs> it we got proof. <laughs> hey, I've got that. I didn't get it. The, um, this one for $2,000. I got that one. Let's see if I got the other one. Yeah, Daniel Sands, of course. $2,012.50. Was that the one from Aliceville or where? It's, uh, yeah, it had uh, opened up, the example. And this is the one from Daniel. They wanted five thousand dollars for this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was a lighted sign. Yeah. Uh, but Kimberly has one like that, and mm -hmm. they can post stuff on it, and it's it's nice. It's nice, but uh, we, can't we, afford it. we can't afford that right now. Yeah. Because we have to fund what they don't. Yeah. <clears throat> and anyway. Here's some example. 
Both of those estimates came from Daniel, but I got uh, estimates for both types. Uh, if uh, you would like to look at them, they'll be available to, to view at the conclusion of the meeting. Yeah, we'll have to, we need to contact them and uh, submit that okay. uh, one post and panel estimate to update my estimates. But, all right. Um, that brings us to the road work estimates. Uh, after having a discussion with uh, Commissioner Strickland, he did provide us with some estimates on road repair for Dean's Ferry and Copperzill Road. Um, To, uh, just as a just a general overview, basically to uh, our portion of rebuilding Cobbers Hill Road from one end to the other, our portion would be seventeen thousand two hundred twenty-six dollars <laughs> with the county, and that's uh, for point three three nine miles. That's a uh, On Dean's Ferry, we had two estimates, or two, uh, yeah, two estimates. And this is for just over a half a mile. Uh, one is a patch, potholes come in, lay over tar and gravel. $9,400 for our portion to uh, tear it down, reclaim, and apply surface treatment to a half a mile, $33,000. And uh, There was also a uh, fee given to us for more services. For a 10 hour day of mowing would be $830. Or a 10-hour day is $833.50. That's 10, 10 hour a day. Mm -hmm. uh, that 10 hour day was for uh, two county employees, a tractor with mower, and a pickup. <coughs> I did send uh, copies of these estimates. To all the council members uh, and provide you a copy tonight. Questions or comments? If we decide to do the grass cutting, I want to go in the grass cutting bed. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it. I've done it quite two years. I think it's ridiculous the price here, as far as I'm concerned. It is really quite out there. Well, it's twenty-three dollars and twenty-five cents an hour. Then you got to buy the then you got to rent the tractor. Then you got to pay for the yep. tractor twenty-five dollars an hour, and then the truck eleven dollars and eighty-five cents an hour. Uh, it's a little steep. I think it all a little steep. Um, I thought we. Uh, are part of Blunt County too, and this was part of their job to keep up. Should be part of their services. They're saying that this is just our portion, yeah. right? Yeah. The town's portion of yeah. Blunt County. They're doing, he's not they're showing us what they're doing. Yeah, you're talking about doing, this is our portion of Dean's Ferry, 
uh, you know, a, mile, a half a mile is our portion of Beans Ferry from the four way stop sign to the town limit sign. If you put it in the, what he's got figured for tonnage on the stone, and that's something I know about. If you put that much gravel on that road, it's going to raise it up about three foot. <laughs> yeah. Six inches, uh, hundred times would raise it at six inches. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mayor, we do have, don't you have two other proposals? One from Brother Guthrie and one from Van Lovahill? For repairs. For repairs, it's just not repairs. Yeah, it's just repairs. Not, uh, not for the reclamation of the, the road. Right. Uh, So those two estimates are you know, price-wise vastly different from the these that we got from the Mount Blanc County. Yeah. What I never, I don't think we should do anything with these at this point. Uh, possibly for the review but I would like to have Commissioner Strickland come in and meet with us, call a special council meeting when he's going to be available to come in and talk to us about this estimate and answer any questions that you might have. I might have some. Yeah. I mean, well, that's what we need to do. We need to find out why the estimates are so out of out of line. Out of land field, of course. I'm concerned. Yeah. Anyway, so are you going to try to call a special meeting at, at with his, his convenience? Or what? We'll have to find out when he's going to be available and, and try to schedule. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we'll have to check with his schedule and then try to schedule one. And there's nothing we can do with these estimates at this point because uh, we can't pay for any of them. Alright. Any other questions or comments about the road? Did you you said you had uh quotes from there was from two patchwork other, from patchwork uh one from van mobile hill and one from yeah curtis 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 uh, i think 4300 and uh, uh 3500 and that's for both roads or that was patching doing patchwork on uh, uh Smith Mill, Dean's Ferry, and Covers Hill. Ooh. And uh, repair the culvert there on uh, just over Smith Mill. The culvert's yeah, not in, in the county. Hmm? The culvert's not in the county repaired. No, no, nothing. Smith Mill was not on counties in his county estimate. So he didn't even address that. I think he addressed Dean's Ferry because he, his ear got tickled by a few residents. Well, I went down Dean's Ferry in Comprazel today, and I apologize to anybody who has to travel it. It is awful. Man, I'm telling you, it's bad. Yeah, yeah. So those both are bad, but again, without a doubt, Comprazel is the worst. It's worst. Well, I know that they there was discussion about waiting for better weather of course we've had so much rain in the past you know uh, month whatever but at least the cold weather you know maybe over that we you know maybe we could consider doing some patchwork or something yeah, we're going to have gotta to do something uh, next month or September in August or September we need to have the work done 
we're going to do anything this year. Okay. Uh, in my opinion. We might have to. Uh, do it when? Either next month or August or September needs to be done. If we're going to do any patchwork. Uh, that culvert on uh, Thermal Road definitely needs some attention. Yeah. And, uh, well, if that's all we can do like, right now is patch it. You know, I think we ought to do what we can for yeah, I agree. the residents. Um, so does the, would the council like to pursue the patch work? I would. Yeah. yeah. Do we have a motion? I'll I'll make a motion we can do the patch I'll work. Second. All in favor? All right. Who made the motion? I did. To patch? Yes. Employed. As far as the money will take us, <laughs> or the whatever, uh, and who seconded you to patch in August? August at first, yeah, August at least yeah, it started in August. But I still would like to uh, at least discuss this estimates with Commissioner Strickland uh, because we, we've got to be some block grant money out there that we're going to have to go for to get this kind of repairs done even if it's half of what this cost you know, even if we get done half of what his estimates are we're still going to need a block grant of some sort and uh, if you would Brenda do this for me uh, here in the next week or two, and give me an appointment with the county engineer. County engineer? Block County. You just let me know when it is, and I'll make arrangements to get there. Okay. What, what would be a good, uh, any particular day? Afternoon would be better for me. Uh, but we'll see what, what you got. You don't have any regular things you have to do every week. Okay. There's always a, a fire to put out. I mean. yeah. All right. I'll make you. I'll see about getting an appointment. Yeah, I'll make um, uh, contact or you know, start a conversation with him because I think he'll be one of the driving forces on some of the block grant money what uh, gets put in for block grants. Okay. Uh, at least uh, start there and continue dis discussions with Commissioner Strickland. So do we need to decide whose bid we're going with? Uh, no, not yet. I don't think so. Until we, until he gets into it a little further and then decide who we want to go with. Uh, we've got the, like, we've got the two, two estimates so far. Right. Um, yeah, I'd like to uh, at least propone, postpone that until the, our next regular meeting and we'll decide on which co contract to go with. Okay. Well, now our next meeting is going to be August. Yeah. Right. So, right. Okay. They should, uh, first, you know, second Monday in August, they still should be able to at least get started. August or September. In October, in August, August, okay. and uh, it shouldn't take them for the repairs that we're talking about. It shouldn't be more than just two, three, two, three days. Two days. Uh, with bad weather, it might take a week, but it, it won't take a long. Okay. All right. Any petitions, applications, complaints, bills, or communications? I think our biggest complaints are Cobbers Hill and Dean's Fair. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> we yeah. know about those. What about the people down the road down here that wanted to join up? Have everything else from um, 
I have their information, or at least. I have their information about the annexation, but I haven't heard anything else from them. So, um, Are they ready to join up? Don't know. You can work at one place. point. Uh, but I have a list of all the property owners on uh, Brandonwood Drive, and uh, probably I have to contact them find out if they're still in, if they are in fact interested. Do you have a list of them, a way to contact them? Okay. Well, I have a list of property owners. Okay. I don't have a contact. I don't have contact information. Okay. But I do have uh, the name, property known, owner's names, okay. and all the other information on uh, annexation. Okay, we'll leave that with me and then I'll try to Okay. I guess I could take a ride down there as long as I don't have any vicious dogs. All right. I'll, go get I'll leave that with you then. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Just type up the letter and send it to them. Yeah, we can do that. We'll take care of it. I'm okay. going to get back in contact with us. Yeah. Yeah, they do need to get back yeah. with us because we don't know what they want to do. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Resolution ordinances, orders, or other business. Uh, we do want to discuss a little bit about the uh, revenue discovery system. The gentleman was here last at the last meeting. Mr. Yance. And Mr. Yance. Uh, the having someone take over the. the sending out and doing all the administrative work for the business licenses at 850 or 885 the license is a steal because I, don't, I can't tell you how many hours I put that into the this. Mayor, that the mayor, the idea. And I put in a lot of hours and I know Brenda's put in a whole lot of hours. And then re and collected. Then send in second notices and all that other kind of stuff and certified mail, all that kind of stuff. And and they'll do service, all that. This service does not decrease a single penny of what we collect in business licenses. They take their fees out of the issuance fee that we have not been charging up to this point. But we can charge and we'll be even and we even get a little bit out of that because it's a twelve dollar insurance fee, and they charge eight eighty five. Right. And we get the remainder along with our business license fee. And what I really like about this service is their uh, revenue recovery uh, delinquent business license. That they go out there and find those that we uh, haven't been able to find. So. They also have a, a database of businesses that do business in small towns that we don't even realize you know, <laughs> that they can contact about doing business in our town, that we don't even know who they are. So. Okay, yeah. All right. What I am uh, proposing, if the council will agree, is to uh, go ahead and enter into contract with RDS to administer our business license fees. Now listen, they, they do, and the recovery thing on delinquent, we don't pay them anything unless they collect. Right. And then if they collect on a delinquent business license, then they get 50 percent right but uh, up until that time we don't pay them anything until they collect yeah. uh, in making, my opinion it's, it's a win-win i'm making yeah. a motion that we are accepting for a second okay. all in favor in entering contract with rds yes you second all in favor 
they will certainly decrease the uh, workload for the clerk and the town and the mayor because <laughs> it, it, it was a chore because we didn't have a clue what you know we really didn't so I will contact Mr. Yance and he said that July and August is the best time to start getting it all together to be able to bill at the first of the year all right well go ahead and contact him and uh, We'll go ahead and sign contract. Okay. All right. So before I open it up for public comment, uh, last month we did pass the ordinance for the Edward Own tax. Uh, due to my error, it will not go into effect this calendar year or uh, in the fall. It will not go into effect until next year. So we, I missed it by about so 10 days. Yeah, it was supposed to be in the revenue office by the 1st of June, and we were a few days late. So. Yeah. Anyway, uh, in the meantime, uh, we have provided all, all the information to Jefferson and Blount County mm -hmm. of, uh, so that they can update their tax roll. Mm -hmm. And as after they've had an opportunity to digest all this new information, I am going to request an estimate on the projected income from that everyone tax. Yeah. All right. Any questions or comments from the council? All right. I'd like to open it up to the public if you have any questions, comments. Yes, sir. You know I'm going to ask, don't you? Right. <clears throat> you talking about the guy giving you price on that mower? I've done that for 18 years. And all he's doing is raping the tail. And I tell him to his face. Well, you, I used to cut this road, Thoma Road, Smithville Road, in two hours in one machine. He can't. He can't beat me on that. Now, Gene may beat me on the gravel, but he can't beat me on mowing. <laughs> and another thing, I think, I don't know whether y'all have to consider it or not, but Dean's Ferry is a through road. Just like this road right here is. It goes all the way through to uh, mm -hmm. Little Shenandoah. It changes into Lehigh, but it's still a through road. In Jefferson County now, they have to keep up the three roads, whether they in the city limits or whether they not in the city limits. They are, the judge ruled, I believe, uh, last week, week before last, they have to keep up the three roads. What do you mean by three roads? Yeah, what do you mean? Like this road right here. Goes three roads. Go through, three like roads. this road come through three Carolina. Uh, Commissioner uh, Joe Knight said, when he's here before, they wouldn't do no maintenance on this road because it was in the town from down here about the Church of God all the way to the Blount County line. But they're going to have to maintain it whether they like it or not. But what they, their point is, when y'all took it in, they tell me, I'm here you what they think. Y'all took it in, y'all getting the tax. Well, they still get tax off of the road too. Oh, yeah. And, uh, in the same way about Blount County. Blount County going to tell you they ain't going to get no tax off of Dean's Ferry Road. They may not be getting that much off of it because the biggest part of Dean's Ferry Road is in District 1. You see what I'm saying? When it crosses the river, it goes from the river all the way to 160. But Dean's Ferry is a three road. I don't know whether y'all ever thought about that or not. And that should be the county responsibility. And I believe you pushed the issue with Gary Strickland a little bit. Uh, he had to back up. And him charging for labor, all he's trying to do is replenish his budget. Because mm -hmm. the labor just figured in anyway. And some of the equipment is figured in. And I'd like to ask too that y'all don't put no more red rock in them holes. No. 
because it's washing out, beating out, coming right over in the grass everywhere. And I know that was good at the time, best you could do, but uh, somebody going to get hurt on that red rock. And uh, if you don't get it patched, the town going to be put in a lawsuit. Now, there's a woman hit that big hole right in front of my house the other day, blow the tire out, busted the rim. I don't know how fast she's going. She's going through Putin's She was going pretty fast. Yeah. Because you sat under my carport, me and Sue sitting out there the other night, and I tell you what, they are doing 35, they are doing 60. Oh, everything's doing every bit of 60. And, uh, uh, you know, it's a liability that was, it was create for all, not just for y'all, but for everybody in the table. <clears throat> and then the grass cut, what would y'all pay to somebody cut the size of the road? I don't know. What would you charge? <laughs> <laughs> Come up with a more and see if I think we can uh, come up with a better price than what he gave us. Is that kind of right? Yeah. Individual, buddy, would do eighty dollars an hour. How much? Mm -hmm. It was eighty, eight, eighty something dollars an hour. Eighty something dollars an hour. Only about eighty dollars. Eighty three thirty five. Only thing about the individual doing it, they'd have to put the can liable for windshields because the uh, bush hog. Or fail more, we'll slang a rock out and get a winch. Because well, I done been out there too much. Whoever who does it would have to have liability insurance to cover. Mm -hmm. Well, it does if you see a car coming, stop. You don't do that bush <laughs> like that. No, you can't do that. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, the day that I met with Gary and we rode around, and we came back down Dean's Ferry Road coming back to town. There was a mower over behind the bushes on Dean's Ferry Road. And he said, there's my mower over here. Been there for 10 months. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and my question, if he'll come to the, you know, is, okay, you had a mower sitting over there. Looked like it was hidden mm -hmm. from view. I mean, you could see it coming from Dean's Ferry to town, mm -hmm. but going out, you didn't notice it. So, you know, he said, "Well, there's my there's my mower. I've been so and so looking for or something." And I'm thinking, "Okay, well, why don't you know where your mower is?" So, mm -hmm. but I didn't ask him. I didn't know that much about it at the time. The day I met with him, I told him, I said, uh, "If you don't come get that mower, I got a key to it. I'm gonna trim up the road down here." Cause the limbs are hitting the cars now going down Dean's Ferry Road. Is it still there? No, the they moved it to the other they, day. They come and got it? Yeah. yeah. Well, buddy, another question. On that land property, I mean on that property line, did he ever give you a definite answer on that? Or mm -hmm. well, I, I was showing you on that town limit. Well, I left him out with him, showing him that uh, where that line was. Where it's supposed to be. Uh, he's supposed to be working from that map. More of it's in the county than they uh, Yeah. I think we had a question on the floor from Councillor Kiley and to, to Mr. Malcolm about what would you charge for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we never got an answer. I'm right in the minutes over here. I wrote the question. I don't know. I have to figure it out. <laughs> to be given at a later date. Yeah. To next meeting. Well, I keep it cut to the top of the hill anyway. I want to ride in a pickup behind you for twenty-three dollars an hour. What I want to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, if you let me on the mower for, for well, what is it, a, an hour for uh, twenty-three dollars and twenty-five cents? Just answer your question. When I work for the county doing that, they only charge like eighteen dollars an hour for that rig I have with a. Uh, about thirty thousand dollars worth of tools on it was eighteen dollars an hour, and it, you know what kind of truck that was, Jim? Mm -hmm. You know. Well, now Jefferson County will cut this part, the Jefferson County part, won't it? Should it? I'll call and find out. I mean, they probably do it just for the fuel. They can't charge nothing for the man I was in the fuel equipment. Yeah. Had a talk to Joe tonight about that. I believe you yeah. mm -hmm. 
Who do I, who would I need to buy? Joe Donahue? Call, no. Uh, call, uh, let me give you a number to call. Okay. Uh, you got to start out with Keetona because this is Keetona district. I might have to get the mayor to call because he sounds a little more than, than me, but mm -hmm. then again, I... You're pretty mean. I'm, a, I'm, like, an old, I'm no. like an old dog. I get old. I told, that's what I told Gary Strickland. I won't go away. <laughs> you may think I will, but I won't go away. Well, you don't have to deal with Wayne Sullivan no more. Oh, okay. That's a blessing within itself. Are <laughs> they <laughs> <laughs> not so out right in here too and have to talk with him because half of Cobb Brazil is. I don't say that. That's It's uh, Jefferson County too, isn't it? No. No, no it's, it's all Black County. It's all Black County. Okay. Okay. There's very little town, isn't it, on Cobb Brazil? Mm -hmm. There's not much that's. And there's, a, there's a good portion on Cobb Brazil that is a town. But it's only like three tenths of a mile. But the majority is Blount yeah. County. Yeah. Where it floods is Blount well, County. Why won't Blount yeah. County fix what's theirs? Because no, they didn't uh, call to their uh, attention. To in our discussion, we were talking about doing the whole thing at once, at one time. But. Uh, and the part that is so bad on Cobb Brazil, the dip, Blunt that is all Blunt County. Every bit of that. Because Gary told me that himself. He found out that was Blunt County. Yeah, where they're going to have to put in culverts and Every dig time. it up. And Move mailboxes. Buddy, yes, where, you, where I think you're going to have a real good leg to stand on is the school bus goes over that road. Yeah. yeah. Get the school bus drivers to come And, well, they have. They have. They have. Yeah. But I they think that too. would be a leg up down, to get something to because four times a day he's up and down the road with 10, 15 kids, you know, and uh, you can't go 10 feet without a pothole and, you know, a foot pothole. And school begins in late August, school, early September. School begins about mid-August. But what I'm asking is, am I correct to say that, that you guys are going to patch it Try for now? Yeah. Try to patch. Patch on the potholes. Uh, try to get it in as good a shape as we can. Well, that's the only feasible thing. But uh, it's like Malcolm said, I mean, I drive it every day, and you drive in the road and outside the road. I mean, you drive in the ditch some places if you don't want, you know. But uh, it, it behooves me that people run 60 miles an hour up that road. Uh, well, they're crazy. Right yeah. I can't what? encompass it. But uh, Cobb Brazil. Is in, in, is in a more of a mess than that. Yeah, without a doubt. That was it with it. it was without doubt, uh, the but worst there, road. There should be some federal monies or something with a school bus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a big plus. Yeah, that's why I need to talk to the county engineer. Because mm -hmm. I know the county engineer is going to be involved in developing the block, block, block community right. grants. I know Highland Lake had got some money to have some roads paved up and through there. Uh, and that's, uh, their roads are bad in some places, but they're, not, they're nothing like Cobb Brazil. Nobody's bad as Cobb Brazil. I would say that Cobb Brazil had chart on it. Just chart the, the pavement gone and just chart it mm -hmm. would be better. Mm -hmm. When they did Lehigh, it was it was great. Now, have you been on Lehigh lately? No. It's like uh, I tweet. I mean, it's it's perfect. It doesn't even have a yellow line down the middle, but it's great. Gary told me they were doing Lehigh They're all the way. Lehigh. They did it all the way. Well, no, it's like past well, May. Well, it's going on there to that tire down. Look at We're going to have to because the truck's still do what we thing. can with what we've got, but we also have to pursue any other avenues that are open to us, such as the community block grants. And that's, that's going to be our best bet of getting any kind of money for ro our roads. The state of Alabama is not going to help us with anything. They don't care about our roads because it doesn't have a state designation. So, Well, I know the bus driver can refuse to go down the road. Yeah, he's going to. If he, if and I think that's what it's coming down to, and that, I don't know where that's going to put the powers so, that be. You got to talk to the county engineer okay. and uh, go from there. Buddy, in this patch, of, uh, it would be in the best interest of the town to put in that patch of contract, use hot mix on it, 
Because if you don't, they're going to put that, they up patches to put that coal mix. If you notice where it's been patched before and it's a valley out like that, that's where that, you run and it pushes that coal mix out. They need, to, they need to put hot mix. And in fact, hot mix is cheaper than coal mix. Because I done called and got the price of it. Hot mix, I mean, coal mix was $168 a turtle. Hot mix the other day, I could have got it for $88 a turtle. So that's the difference. But you know, it would be in y'all's best interest to put in that contract hot mix only. I know that one of the estimates that we've gotten. And they were talking about hot mix, right. but I need to verify with the other estimate what they intended to use. Now, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. That hot mix set up, you can't hardly dig it up. Well, hot mix certainly would be preferable if it lasts longer, even if it's more expensive. If it lasts yes. longer, let's do it that way. And that anyway, that's that's something else that I have to. And that price includes fixing uh, thermal. Yes. Yes. The culvert down here. Yeah. The, the culvert. Well, that's that's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's that's. Was it? Yeah. Hey, that's not a new. That's not a new culvert, but it oh, is building up that uh, one side that is caving in. It's not a. It's not rebuilding it. But it's repairing it. Well, that sounds like a decent, pretty decent. Yeah, I mean, both the estimates were you know, reasonable, in my opinion. Uh, but we'll have to clarify a couple of points. Mr. Mayor, to get off of the roads for a second, mm -hmm. it's been brought to my attention about. Um, Taft Coal Company uh, in Blunt County. Which coal? Taft, T A F T. Mm -hmm. On Reed Schoolhouse Road. Mm -hmm. That it used to all be in Blunt County, and so therefore Blunt County was getting the revenue. But it seems that now some of that Taft Coal Company is in the town and county line. Am I correct, Malcolm, or not? I don't to, know. I'd have to. I don't know how to find out. But I'm just asking. You have to go to the hill. Huh? It is. It's not no, any it's out of the county line. Well, I knew it was. I had, you know, there was somebody had told me that it was always in Blunt. It was in all of in Blunt. Oh, Blunt right. County only, but that it had come around through to where some of it was hitting the town and county line and that now, we should be getting some of that revenue from Black County. So I now you know. got another little outfit down there below the house. And I don't know some most of this in town and county. But they can't I don't think they can get, get no bond money right now. Something about the bond. John David might explain about the bond. Well I, somebody said that I needed to talk to the Alabama surface mining. Right. Call them and they can take it. Okay. Do that. Uh, oh, but, but I don't know that Taft, they'll tell no, me anything. No, Taft is hmm. But Taft is not even close to county line? No, not now. Hmm. Well, Brenda, there's something about being within the close to the town, the closest to the town, I'm getting some royalties or I don't know if that's the correct terminology. I but they get something, the town that's closest to it. The town would get something if <laughs> you know, if it's in the police jurisdiction. Right. Yeah. And the police jurisdiction goes a mile. No, 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 no. It goes what? A mile from the limit. Oh, each. Oh, okay. And the police jurisdiction it extends beyond the corporate limits of the town. One mile. By a mile or a mile and a half. But also. I don't know, but it would be. They, they've had some, I don't know how much, but they certainly, some of us would be in the yeah. Unfortunately, we can't collect anything from police jurisdiction unless we're providing a service to the police jurisdiction. But there's some of the taxes that WCA is paying that we will get, but we've got to apply. See, this is the trouble with us for years. We have 35172. Trafford has gotten, they go by zip codes, and they've gotten them some money. They don't know we're here. Mm -hmm. And we've never. It's always trapped. Yeah. But it's stuff, 
some way that they're paying some kind of taxes, and that's not going to make us too popular in Blount County if we ask for tax money. <laughs> well, I'm just I'm just trying to think of revenue, and 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 this was brought to my attention, and I don't know anything about Alabama surface mining. I don't know anything about coal mining, and I don't. I worked in Walker County for a long time, and that's all I heard about was drumming this and drumming that. But when you get down to it, you have to know a little of what you're talking about and so that's what I'm asking the question because I think if there's any money out there that we can get a hold of I don't care how much it is we need to get it you know one of the things that we do need to do is the sales tax ordinance was passed last fall we need to provide a certified copy of that to the Alabama State uh, Department of Revenue okay. because right now we are not listed as a taxed. We're not listed. As We're not listed as anything, are we? No. You're talking about in the Alabama Department of Revenue for tax. You can't say that. that. We're, we're not listed as anything in the state because nobody's got us listed anywhere in, as but, a state. Well, this is why I need to do that is because of the legislation that is making its way through the U.S. House on uh, collecting internet sales tax and it will be paid to the municipalities that are registered with the state okay and right now we are not so I, we, we need to like register with the state of alabama as a okay okay mr mayor one more question since you brought that up what about these logging companies that pull these logs through here i mean uh, do they buy have to buy a license they ought to I mean, I'm just asking this question because I got one. I don't think that uh, I don't think that we can. I don't think we have a legal basis for doing so. Uh, Unless they're buying. You know, the county, Blount County, tried to impose yeah. a fee on logging trucks and went to court on that and lost or they didn't lose it they withdrew their requirement for uh, the fees they yeah <laughs> basically so based on that i don't believe we have any authority uh, there's no uh, precedence for us to be able to collect or heavy haulers coming through. And I'm not going to get out on that road and flag them down either. <laughs> <laughs> no. Has anybody ever, yeah. anybody yeah. ever from the city checked on that CD that they come up missing? Yeah. Oh. About $10,000 CD. That CD was, that was money. cashed. That was yeah, cashed. Yeah, it was cashed. Yeah. It was cashed. Yeah. 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 No, it was cashed. Yeah. It, it is any minutes as, as such. And it was sick by this it had to be more than one signer. It was what, three or four people that had yeah, to it was it was you know, it was done. Okay. And it was in a, in the minutes. If you it's not a real uh, yeah, entertaining know. evening, but reading all the minutes. Well, I can't figure out where all that money went there. Went, went to then they nobody right done that. Well, 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 well part of it's out here. Yeah, it, was, right there in that park. Well, it was spent. I see nobody out there in that park then. Unfortunately, it, it was spent, unfortunately, and there's nothing that uh, we can do about that. That's a shame. What we are left with is our problem. I don't care how we got here, it is now our problem. But he told care. me to quit beating a dead horse because I kept talking about that stupid part. I am part not going said. to be compared to Obama, <laughs> blowing bush for everything. And he, and he told me to stop complaining about the part. I mean, and that's the it truth. It doesn't matter. It, it, it really doesn't matter. It's done. How we got here, we're here, and it's up to us to handle what we have. The best way we can. What's so, been done, been done. Well, if, 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 if any of their town was in the town of County Land, uh, you have an ordinance on the book that uh, any man that's in the town 
and pay you 50 cents a ton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, there is, that's true. That is true. Uh, whether or not they're operating out here, I don't know. Uh, I think they're true. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they go. They go. I would think you could get it even if they go. You know, if they had been in the town. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, we have quite a few ordinances that uh, uh, are good. There are good ordinances in place already. Uh, and I think that happens to be one. All right. Uh, any other questions or comments? Hey, we thought we knew all about getting the roof fixed. <laughs> oh, wait. Or the ceiling. Or the ceiling. Yes. Well, so you know, after all this rain that we've had in the past two weeks or whatever, every time I come up here, I look, I think, okay, well, there's going to be water here, there's going to be water in the bathroom, there has not been a drop of water. Once again, thank Dan for repairing. Oh, the yeah, man. I mean, if, if Dan can think, do Dan? something with this piece up here, but I have, I promise you, after all this rain, every time I come in here, I look because I, I well, just, I know. We do so. have some uh, extra tiles back there, just inside the door. Okay. Uh, that we may want to go ahead and just replace them. It would look nice. Well, there again, I'm not going to replace the tiles. I mean, I'm sorry, but I, that's not my job description. <laughs> well, we'll get somebody up here to do it. I don't need to get tiles. If you fell off the ladder, the town would be liable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but we've got a we really lot of things to sure. take light down. Well, we'll, uh, no. we'll get that taken care of. Okay. Right. All right. Any other questions or comments? Again, uh, if you'd like to look at these five proposals or estimates, um, they're up here. At, uh, or right? if you want to look at Bluff counties. <laughs> And yeah, uh, if you are, we do stand a good chance of getting that grant. Uh -huh. I think from Alabama Power. Do you think? Well, uh, we need to update to make sure that we have an accurate uh, estimate. Mr. Fine. Mayor, we have two signs that we would like to donate to the town if they would like it, and uh, the uh, lettering to go with it. If the town would be interested in that. What sign? The. Uh, Letter sign. Yes, sir. What did they say? Uh, yeah, we put they're, on they're blank. Put what you want there's a blank it. canvas. Oh. We can put on there what we want. Oh, okay. Right. It's changeable. Metal signs? Huh? Metal? Yep. Signs. These little signs we have here. With the oh. Oh. Okay. You can light up. It's lit. I mean, I don't know if you want to keep it lit or what. Oh, yeah, the ones uh, that you plug in. That yeah, you wouldn't oh, have to lie. You'd need to secure it somewhere, you know. Uh, if the town would be interested in that. Yeah. How big a sign is it? It's those, those flashing light signs. Well, the ones that we advertise for the yard sale. The oh, that up to, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to discuss on where we could put them and where they would be secure or how we could place it and it still be secure yeah. and accessible yeah because mm -hmm. i thought it was up on a roof <laughs> <laughs> but if you got it up high that would be a, a good thing but i mean but we'd have to have be able to access yeah. we'd have to get to the pole yeah. but there there's means of things to put yeah. in yeah anyway okay mr mayor to get them down buddy and just be hard to get them up there yeah Put a pretty good one more hole in the ground and pour it, put some concrete in there with a hook or something and you can chain it or something. One more thing and I know that you had checked with the Sheriff's Department and all this and it's about the graffiti Tag, mess the from the folk. Uh -huh. uh, I have, thank you, I will call them again tomorrow. Have y'all noticed those? The things, the, uh, yes. yeah, it's the gang the graffiti. Yeah, you know, they're so stupid, they don't even know how to spell folks. Well, it's, it's no, that's -L 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 yes. that is intentional, intentionally spelled that way by the gang. It's the gang insane, of one. <laughs> insane gangster no. disciples, insane gangsters, 
Is that what the tennis shoes are hanging across the power lines? Well, this is where they've come and painted the painted on the the signs out um, on the street. That's the, on that the street the signs. Beach. <laughs> and then they they painted on the building there. You know, the building up there by Jim Calvert. Uh, but Larry's, Larry's repainted. Somebody that. painted over that. Larry did. There, I Larry saw did. him out there painting. Yeah. Okay. And then somebody painted down there by uh, Booth. On the way. ground there, and they um, put black paint on that. Further on out, closer to uh -huh. four way stop sign. Right. Up there, about the five or six places yeah. along Caroline Road where, where we had our sign sitting at that brick house there. He just right there on the Once they start that, they're going to cover it up. We need to get it stopped. Mm -hmm. Well, we had that problem in Gardendale, Mount Olive, at one time, and it was they they were folks f-o-l-k-s and it was followers of lord king satan mm -hmm. and i don't know and then this one that they got the into s. satan then they just got the k and left the s okay i guess i don't uh, know no buddy well, says this one is the is igd different. is insane gangster disciples so, what's a folk, local game, folk nation folk nation Mr. Mayor, I can report that Blount County has been down because uh, sure. they've been parking right there at the end of my garden when we parked the other day. Yeah. Checking that. Checking it because uh, they come out from my other morning uh, when I was up there and it had been raining and they got to spinning and uh, I thought he was going to get out, you know. But the state also has been black, uh, backed up. The road that goes up by to the black church, got the gate across the road. I don't know what I'm talking about. The black church at Bond. Yeah. yeah. The state has been setting up in there. Also, the county has been up in there. They've been pulling. They got everybody they can except Sue. Well, they got. They got. Well, that she's not gonna go fast enough for them to get her. I got news for. But you. I just want to mention that remark. I just want to mention that, uh, Mr. Mayor, because. Blount County has been well, good. Well, the now, last time that started, and they wrote folk somewhere on store, Jerry's store building on the side. Then the black church, they wrote it all up there, and then it burnt. So, I mean, I don't know if it's the same paper or what, but it's it's disturbing. And we certainly don't need yeah. that. We don't need that, folks. It was on the roadway in front of certain houses. Well, what does it mean? F-O-L-K. No, but I mean, it's, what did they write? Do y'all know what know. It's, 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 it's a pen. It sounds like a thought. That was my question to both Jefferson County and Blount County. What does this mean? You know, what do we need to be looking out for? Uh, what can we do? It is it is the standing for both fathers of our Lord King Satan. Is what it stands for, and it's mostly and young that's what it means. teenagers. Teenagers, yeah. teenage, teenagers. That's what they're after. Is these young teenagers? Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know whether they're targeting it towards an individual, certain, or thing, yeah. or what. Yeah. So you know, that's the question that I have for the sheriff's department. Is you know, what does it mean? Because you know, they've got, they have gang units. They will be able to tell us what these mean. What does this mean? Well, it has so, little numbers or something. Yeah, it's all the number coincide with IGD. It's kind of like a pentagram something, some kind of something. It's a pentagram with IGD with across the, the center. All, yeah. And then up and above it, there's a, a... Up nine, there in front four, of that... 974 or something like that is a number that they use. But it, it coincides with the letter of the alphabet. Insane gangster disciples. It's some just delinquent It's a prison kids, gang. Teenagers. It's a prison gang. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a prison gang. Yeah. They're yeah. delinquents. They're whatever. Anyway, uh, I just found that out online. Uh, <laughs> right. I didn't find that out from the Sheriff's Department, but that information I was able to get from uh, from online. And I took pictures of all of it I could find uh, to give give them if they'll ever contact. So I'll call them again. All right, any other co questions or comments? Yeah, I want to ask one thing. Have you ever noticed 
that little tin building on Smith Mill Road there, just the other side of that first trailer, <laughs> the stove pipe coming out. You made yeah. a drug. If you see fire coming, the smoke coming out of that thing when it's 85 degrees outside, you know they ain't using it for heat. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. What are you supposed to be cooking? They're yeah. cooking, yeah. cooking hot dogs. If you let see, me if say you see smoke, should you call the sheriff? Yeah, let me, let me say this. Good idea. That I have talked to Block County Sheriff's Department about the individual there. They are more than aware of him. They were doing everything they can to interrupt his business. But, but they have a lookout at the four-way stop sign. The first two mobile homes in that part are lookouts for that establishment. So if uh, anybody's coming down that way, they're on the horn to them. Well, Mayor, they come on down uh, uh, Deans Ferry Road and look beside me and the smoke's boiling out. So I don't know what they're doing, but... I thought they were going to send smoke signals out before last. It's just boiling. Boiling. It's hot. You know, they ain't trying to keep warm. Down by past. Uh, yeah. And not trying to they need Needless to say, <clears throat> Jefferson County has been informed of suspicious activity in Jefferson County here in County Line. And Blount County has also been informed. And I talked to the deputy that does most of the drug work in uh, Blount County. So. But Mayor, can we get some sign, a sign put up on these very old children playing, kind of help slow the traffic down? Because we got some people walk the road every day with small children. And, uh, One woman has five. One of them got ten. And, uh, you know, it's, that's a too dangerous road with a woman with a stroller and three kids or four kids behind it, you know. Now fix those potholes, it's going to be in the house. We'll have to look into it. Um, uh, well, there's a man over here that's got no safety. Ask the state trooper to go down there and, and, and patrol that road a little bit and we'll give you some help. Yeah. And they will. They'll send a trooper down there and every shift to make a drive through that road if you want to. State trooper. They will. State trooper has Alabama. They can go everywhere. Yep. All right. I'm trying to pull you out, but they're going to get you. I don't play. Why don't you be the person that's involved in getting rid of the state troopers out here for us? Yeah, Miss Francis. So huh? Francis. Hey, they, oh, no, no, they pulled me over the other day, so hey, I don't know if I'm going to do it. They pulled me over the other day to check my uh, license, insurance, uh, what you call it? Seat belt. Seat belt. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they'll do it every time they see you. Yeah. So just might as well get ready to give it a We got one in a Tahoe that comes through here, but if, if we ask him, he'll he'll come. I mean, All you gotta do is be asked. Ask. Yeah, he'll come through there. He'll they'll, every shift they'll go through. Well, there's a couple of signs over here that's been taken down from somewhere. That says police jurisdiction. I well, believe I believe you need to be paper. appointed the person yeah. to get in touch with them. We we'll have to look at uh, we we'll have to check me to see. What it would cost to get some signs. Um, he, we ought to have some letter, literature. Yeah, he, excuse me. He said that the man up there in your Logan store makes them. Make signs? Make mm -hmm. signs for Black County. Really? Mm -hmm. I was in up by the other day to get some for Black County. County should give you some signs. Asking you shall receive. What, children playing? Yes, ma'am. And, 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 and tell them you'll put them up. Well, who do we need to see? Chris Strickland. Gary. Gary You and her can go yeah. see you. No, Gary I'm going to see Gary. Something. I mean, I've done told him. I'm like, you know, I'm going to see old Gary. I'm going to get him and I think I'll get him. Yeah. You need a couple of children. Yeah, let's. Okay. Uh, go through him first. And Steve will help put them up. Dig that post on. If he can just give us a sign, we'll put them up. Let him know. We think he's in. I'll find somebody to pick up. I got to find somebody to put them up. Malcolm, you can run it. All right. <laughs> Any other questions, comments? I make a motion that we go home. I second that. All in favor? 